Hello everybody, KP here. I'm going to show you how to make a swamp cooler out of a simple styrofoam ice chest. This ice chest is about mm, seven and a half inches by seven and a half inches. It's a medical grade one, so it's a thick one. This project you can use any type of styrofoam ice chest that you would like to, but I'm just using what I got for free. Like I said, this was sent to us free of charge because it had medical med uh, medicine in it that had to be kept cold. As you can see here, this is a real thick one. That's why I said it's a medical grade because any other ice chest is not really that thick unless it's being used for medical or food shipping over good distances. That's not being uh, transported in a refrigerated truck or anything. Another part of this project you're gonna need is a good battery powered fan. I picked this one up at Walmart. It was like about $12 or so with taxes and everything. It's two settings. High, low, and off. Oh, three settings in. My bad. High, medium, and low. First thing you want to do is figure out how big of a hole you want to cut here. That way you still have plenty of room for your ice. Like I said, this is not a very big ice chest, but yeah, I'm thinking about maybe one inch, inch and a half, two at the most across with some lines coming down for structural integrity. But with this one being a medical grade, I don't really need the, the two lines in the center. But it does help with aesthetics, so here we go. I'm not the greatest artist in the world, but you get the gist of it. The axes are the ones, the areas is going to be cut out. It's pretty much gives you plenty of room on both sides. And I'm debating on keeping these in there for structural and aesthetic uh, appearance and everything. Another thing that you'll have to do is cut a hole in the top for you to put the fan on. So I went ahead and took the fan, put it on top, and marked it out. The reason why it's got two lines on this side and two lines on this side just because I was trying to make it a little more center and then you got your uh, hole in the center for where the fan motor is going to go to blow the cold air in. Next step is cutting it out and I know they got styrofoam cutters out there that's used with batteries. I don't have one. I couldn't find one so I can make this video. So with this being a medical grade ice chest I'm gonna use a jigsaw all you got to do is take a drill bit drill a hole in here that way it makes it a little more easier to make your curves even though a, a jigsaw is easy to cut with but you got to get your jigsaw blade in there that's the point of the the drill bit drilling a hole in it so you actually be able to get your blade in same for that but my lines will be a lot straighter too and I'm planning on opening up a little bit more than what it is. Doesn't really matter where you put your holes at as long as you got the holes there. I'll use my feet to hold it. Let me have styrofoam on my feet. Unless you That didn't work out right. So now you can see through it. It'll make it a little more easier to cut. This is a outside project due to the fact the styrofoam, as you can see, styrofoam gets everywhere. As you can see, I got the four holes drilled, so it's ready to go for the jigsaw. I just got to be extra careful with this 
not put too much weight on this side that way it won't break through even though it is a medical grade ice chest this is an outdoor project as you can see styrofoam is everywhere easy to sweep up outside compared to your house now I got this side cut out and as you can see it's not the greatest looking but you get the gist of it which I can come back and follow follow all this down if I want to make it bigger make it smaller whatever you want to do with your application oh no it's snowing on me one of the parts of messing with styrofoam as you can see I got it cut and this project's almost done now comes the fun part I got too much ice for that but it's always good to have ice let me go ahead and break this up and put it in there as you can see I got the ice in there there's big chunks because this thing was a solid piece of ice instead of it being like ice cubes like it's supposed to be see big chunks got more in there and let's show you how this thing works and there you have it swamp cooler Added a little ribbon to show you that it's actually flowing air through it. You can actually feel cool air coming out of it. And it works on hot days. Especially if you work outside, this thing comes in real handy as long as you got a, a good amount of ice to supply it with. Once the ice melts, just drain the water, put more ice in.